What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. Today is the 4th of July. Yes, it is Independence Day here in North America. Couldn't be happier to celebrate. But I just want to pop in real quick and do a fast video today, just kind of a down and dirty, um, to address some of the concerns from the comments I got in my previous video regarding the Gibson SG versus the Epiphone SG. Uh, link to that is up here. There were some concerns and some people had some questions and stuff that I had kind of omitted from the previous video. So I want to rectify that here now. That's why this is part two. First off, um, Mario and a couple of other people had commented that I didn't play any clean tones in the video, um, which I think I should do here now because I mean, it makes sense. You do, if you want to hear what the guitar sounds like really in the room, uh, acoustically, without you know the distortion and the added digital effects, the reverb and the delay, I think it's a fair thing to do to compare them so you get a really, really get a better sense of how they sound. I'm gonna do that momentarily. I uh, just wanna address a few other comments here really quick. So a couple people mentioned that, you know, the finishes on the, on the bodies are different and on the necks, obviously. Uh, the Epiphone has the polyurethane finish while the Gibson has the nitrocellulose lacquered finish, which as you probably know, does wear down over time and creates a different patina, different feel. And it's kind of going to have that aged look, that antique look after a while, right? It's going to kind of look broken in and have that relic look and feel, uh, which is something you might like, you might hate that. So for me, I look at it more like this. As far as the finishes go, if you have to have a finish on a neck, which I prefer an unfinished neck actually, but in these two guitars, this case, uh, I prefer the polyurethane finish because for me, it's a little less sticky. Uh, I guess that's a viscosity factor or something like that. It's just a little, when your hand gets perspiry and you're sliding up and down the neck, it just feels less prone to get kind of get stuck as you're moving around. So for me, the polyurethane finish is a win uh, over the Gibson's finish, I'm sorry to say. But the Gibson finish is nice too, aesthetically, uh, as it wears down over time. And I kind of like that look, you know, it looks broken in and played in and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Uh, I had people on both sides of, of that fence, you know, saying one is better than the other. But again, it's all personal opinion, like what you want to like. Uh, I didn't address things like precise measurements of the neck and the weight and stuff like that, but I'm gonna throw the weights up on the screen now just so you have that as a reference, okay? Um, yeah, getting to clean tones in just a second here. Somebody said it's a silly question, you know, which is better between these guitars, and that's true. It is a silly question, but it's it makes for a fun video because, I mean, um, at the end of the day, I like variety. I like variety in all aspects of life, and especially in music and guitars. I have all different types of guitars, from old ones, new ones, you know, every kind of shape. They're both fun to play. They both feel a little bit different. They both sound a little bit different, but that's, the variety is the spice of life, and it's fun to have more than one, right? Uh, one person did mention that the Gibson makes you feel better. I don't really know what that means. I guess you feel better because you own an expensive guitar or because it's made in the USA, or I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know how you feel better. You're just gonna like one more than the other, personal preference. It's all about you. Whatever you prefer, go for it. I don't feel better with one guitar or the other. One's more expensive, yay, I guess, whatever. Um, but they both sound really good. So for me, no, I don't feel better one way or the other. Uh, let's get into some clean tones and then we're gonna get out of here.
So there it is, guys. I uh, just want to jump in real quick. Like I said, 4th of July. Glad to be here. God bless America, all that good stuff. If you have not subscribed already, please do so. I'm trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark, and it's taking forever because, you know, the algorithm. Um, thanks a lot to everybody. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Have a great 4th of July. Stay safe out there. Talk to you guys soon. I'm out of here. See ya!